What's going on everyone? Kevin Gallagher here and if you are like me then there's one thing that absolutely drives you crazy and that is the fact that the cable companies feel that they can charge you whatever they want for cable TV and internet and sometimes phone for all of you who use it for phone and you just have to pay it. I had Comcast or Xfinity internet and TV for a while, the triple play and one of the frustrations that I had was when I started off it was $90 a month by the time we finished, we were well over $200 and it was just no longer cost effective. So in 2019, we switched our TV over to streaming. And I'm gonna talk to you today about the different streaming services, which one did I have, which one am I going to be switching to, little spoiler for the end of this video, and hopefully just give you some information so you can see as I went on my own journey, fact finding, you know, maybe this is something that you wanna do. So let's get it going right now. So let's start off with the bad news and this is the question I always get when I tell people that we stream everything now. Well what do you do about the internet? Well obviously there's nothing you can do about the internet. Even though in the United States you can't have a monopoly on something, it seems to be on internet that you can because in New Jersey you have three options. You have either Comcast or Xfinity, you have Verizon Fios or you have DSL. Now the kicker to that is Verizon Fios stopped putting in lines and connections. I don't know why. but in my neighborhood, I cannot get Verizon Fios. So the only other option is called DSL. Now, if you know internet, then you know one thing. DSL is the worst thing on the planet. I mean, honestly, if you want your internet to just drop out for no reason in the middle of the day because it's Tuesday afternoon and that's what they do to conserve, then go to DSL. But otherwise, you're stuck with the Comcast of the world and the, and the Verizons, the ones that just have the lockdown on the internet. The other thing that you're going to need to do that's kind of a bad news thing is you're gonna to wanna to increase the speed and power of your internet. Now depending on what you have, if you have the bottom of the line package for internet, you're gonna notice that it's gonna slow down dramatically. If you're streaming and you have your, so for example, on my house, we now because of COVID, we have three kids who are home doing school. We have mom and dad who are working on their laptops. And then at some point in the day, usually someone has the TV on. So you have multiple levels of internet being used at all different times. So you're gonna to wanna to increase it. The option that I have for internet, I wanna say is 85 bucks a month, and then we added a $10 boost to it, so we're at 95 bucks a month. I think I have like 250 uh, megabits of upload speed or something like that. I'll put some of the details of that on the screen so that you can see exactly what I have. Here's where the good news is. There are so many options now for TV and it really comes down to what your preference is. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different options so you can see for yourself what's out there. Okay, so what you're seeing on your screen right now is a website called tomsguide.com and this is somebody who just went ahead and did their own blog on the different types of streaming services if you're looking to cut the cable cord. Now, the one thing that you have to talk to yourself about up front is what are your goals and what do you want? If you're somebody who watches a lot of live TV, then as you see as you go through here, some of these are just not going to be a good option for you. However, there are still a lot of great options out there for streaming, both live TV, having a DVR, having some type of, you know, again, it comes down to what you need. So let's go ahead and jump into here with this list right here of best streaming services at a glance. Now, one of the things you're going to see is Netflix is at the top at $8.99 per month. Now, that is their lowest cost option on Netflix and that depends on video quality so that's something you're going to want to take into account our Netflix is up above ten dollars a month our Netflix is above ten dollars a month I can't tell you exactly what it is right now on top of my mind you can also you can't get live TV with Netflix so you got to keep that in mind if you're fine with just watching content created by the platform well getting an $8.99 per month Netflix account that's going to be extremely cost effective for you. Coming down here, HBO Max, very similar, $15 a month. This typically is an add-on. It's not really a streaming service. You can stream HBO content, but you can't stream anything else. Disney Plus, $6.99 per month. Again, um, that is, that's an add-on to whatever you're going to be doing. Then we come down here to Hulu. Now, 
again, you're looking at streaming only with no live TV. That's kind of all of these options that are here, except for Sling, Fubo, and Crackle. These other five up here, these are all going to be options where you're just streaming content from that content company. You're not watching any live TV. Let's go ahead over here to CNET so that you can see an example of kind of the top options that you have out there. Now, these would be considered a premium option, but the reason why I'm showing you these ones specifically is because they are all very comparable for us, for our household. So for us in our house, we need a DVR. We need to record different shows. So DVR is a must for us. And then certain stations like ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, we also still watch MTV, we watch A&E, we watch My Wife Loves the Hallmark Movie Channel during the holidays. We've got to take a look at all of those channel lineups for each one and figure out what's best. For me, I love to watch sports and football, my wife as well, so a lot of times we are looking for options that still include live sports. But just taking a look at these options as they go across here, again, this was put out by CNET, but it is up to date. You will see that you have AT&T TV, which uh, I tested out. It was pretty interesting. I, I did like it, uh, at the, but you can see here the price at $70 per month for 65 plus channels. It just, uh, I don't know, as well as this like no family member user, if you're going to be the highest price, then you better have the most options. That really was a turnoff for me with AT&T. Coming down here, do they have a free trial? Yes, all of these have a free trial. If you're looking to switch, I highly suggest you try each platform for yourself to see which one you're most comfortable with. They're all a little bit of a learning experience. Here you have ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. This means the local version of that. As you go across, you'll see yes in many markets. Now, if you live in my market, then you know that this is a no for most of these. Hulu plus live TV was a yes. They, I'm still able to get all of my local stations, all of my local sports. That, that's a yes right there. As well as with YouTube TV, that's a yes. Simultaneous streams per account. AT&T, you get two. Fubo, you get two. Hulu, you get two. Sling, you only get one on orange or three on blue, which if you mess around with Sling, you'll see the differences. And then YouTube, you get three. Again, having family member profiles, we like this in our house, especially on our Netflix. This way your content is overlapping and you can designate what your kids can see as well, especially here on Hulu. You can, uh, they, if, they, if you have a kid's platform set up, they can only see channels for kids when they go to theirs. Cloud DVR, yes, on this one with 50 hours, 200 hours, or $10, for $10 a month. Uh, coming over to Fubo, yes, you get 30 hours or a ten dollars a month additional for five hundred hours. <clears throat> Hulu's a yes. I say, I want to say it's about forty hours of content you could get on there. Sling TV's a yes. YouTube's a yes. And YouTube, I'm I'm pretty sure you get a lot of cloud DVR storage. Fast forward or skip through commercials with cloud DVR. This is so frustrating. Some of these options you'll see like no. If I DVR a show, if I record a live show, I better be able to fast forward through the commercials. That's the reason I'm doing it. I don't want to watch the commercials. AT&T's a no, or you could pay $15 more. I mean, think about that. $15 more just to be able to fast forward through something that you recorded. FUBU's a yes, Sling's a yes, YouTube's a yes, and I can tell you with experience that Hulu is a no, and I'm not giving you $10 more a month. Something else that I've not pointed out until right now is which ones have some type of a library of content. So if you were to go with Sling, Philo, FUBO, all those other options that are out there that are mostly just to get you your live TV experience, they don't have countless hours of content that you could go back and watch. Hulu does. Hulu started as just content, bringing you content similar to the way Netflix would. YouTube also has an on-demand option of countless hours of TV shows and movies that you could easily be watching just like you would if you were with Hulu. So after trying all of the free trials on all of the different streaming services, which we definitely did in our house, I mean, we've tried them all. I originally landed on Hulu Live TV. Now at the time, Hulu Live TV was $45 a month. You got the 40 hours of cloud DVR. We got the majority of the channels we wanted. You know, we, we really had no reason 
to not choose that one. It was the best value. If you watch other videos that I put out there, I always talk about getting on with companies that provide value. You're getting the largest amount of options for the lowest amount of cost. However, over the last two years, they have been raising their price. So they came in at $45 originally. Then they came up to $55. Now we just got a, mess, a, a note saying that starting this month they're going up to $65. Well you done did wrong Hulu with me. You done messed up A.A. Ron! Because YouTube TV and try it for yourself, it works almost exactly like Hulu Live TV, but you're getting more features, you're getting more channels, and the channels make sense for my family. With Hulu, do you get live sports? Yes. Do you get local sports? Yes. But the one network you don't get if you're a football fan on Hulu Live TV is the NFL Network. There's two games at 1 o'clock and two games at 4 o'clock. Well, on Hulu Live TV, you are only getting your local station at those times. So you're only getting one game at a time. YouTube TV, they do have the NFL Network. I believe Sling does. I believe Philo does. And I think it's an additional price with AT&T. Double check that. At the end of all of this, and again, I already gave a spoiler at the beginning, I've had Hulu Live TV for two years now, and we truly liked it, no issue with it. However, when you look at your, your bills, right? I'm at about 90 to $95 a month for my uh, internet. Add into that now, $65 a month for Hulu Live TV. Add into that Netflix as well, and we're pushing that $200 mark and that's not even necessarily including all the taxes and, and other stuff that you gotta, you gotta pay out for. When you compare that to just starting up with a Comcast account, because once you get away from streaming and you come back, you get some of those great special offers again. However, when I called last week to get TV from Comcast because I saw what Hulu was doing with increasing their prices, they were right around the same mark at $171 per month. So what's the point, Kev? The point is this, I am going to be making the switch to YouTube TV. I'm not willing to give Comcast my money because I know what Comcast is gonna do. They're gonna get my business, charge me $171 a month, and then one year from now, they're gonna jack it up above $200 and then I'm gonna have to be paying out of pocket through my nose. So let's go over three things you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself while you're choosing the streaming service that you end up with. So very first thing you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself is what features do you need? The second thing you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself is channel lineup. Sit down and think about what are the channels that you watch the most. The last thing you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration is the actual cost. For me, right now on the market, the best value for your money, the, the option that you get the most from for the least amount of money is going to be YouTube TV. So when you take a look at all the packages that we looked at before of the, what we'll call the premium streaming option, you're gonna get the most for your money with YouTube TV. You're getting the highest amount of cloud DVR. You're getting the highest amount of channels on their normal option, not the two different, three different levels of TV channels. You're getting them all on the one option. And then finally, you're going to also be getting the most views on different devices and you know profiles. You're getting everything that you can possibly want and you're getting it for one price at $65 a month. So y'all, that's it that I have for you today. I hope you found this video informative. I hope you got something out of it. I hope that on your streaming journey of where you're moving to that you find the option that's best for you. But there are plenty of options out there for you to watch TV and do so at a lower price than what you'd be paying when you're with cable. Do me a favor, comment below, let me know which of the streaming services you're on and the reason why you chose that. So y'all, I wish y'all the best. I hope you have a great day. Take care.